Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are doing fine. On today's episode of The Watch Alley, we are going to tag Hoyer. And as you can see, my parents' uh, tag needs a service, especially my dad's. Uh, the hands and indices have fell off and my mom's um, tag needs a battery change. Tag Hoyer recently opened a new boutique at Marina Bay Sands. So I thought that was a perfect moment to uh, visit them since I also need to send in these watches for servicing. So yep, let's go. Marina Bay Sands is extra packed today as Singapore's National Day is just around the corner on 9th of August. And today is actually the preview of the ceremony. Uh, so that's why you see people dressed in white and red. There you see the new Tech Hoya boutique. It is just by the entrance of the MRT and beside Tiso and opposite of Zenith. This is Tech's latest collaboration with a movie. The Grey Man is available on Netflix. Uh, let me know if you guys have watched it and if it's any good. I haven't watched the movie yet, um, but I'm sure you guys know Ryan Gosling. He plays a spy, if I'm not wrong, and his character wears a Tech Hoya Carrera. So only this week, right? They released it? Two days ago? Two days ago. Yeah. Corona. Okay, let's see. The previous one was it in green? Yeah. Okay. And this one will be in limited editions? To 600. 600 yeah. yeah, 600 piece worldwide. This is the latest release from Tech, a vintage style Carrera with a stunning sunburst red dial. Uh, it looks as if there's red wine uh, flowing through the dial. If you notice on the dial, it only says Hoyer instead of Tech Hoyer. And that is because this design language is before the company Tech bought over Hoyer and makes the company that you know of today. There is not a lot of tag Hoya watches that I can see myself wearing or purchasing. This is one of the few. A lot of the tag watches nowadays are a little bit too big or the design language is not my style. This one is more timeless, classy and elegant. And unfortunately, most of the watches that are nice from tag Hoya are usually limited editions. So that's very unfortunate. This one comes in at 39 millimeters. And even though the locks are a bit long, but I think it's still, uh, I'll be able to wear it uh, just nice. Everyone wants to see this watch, is it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The previous Carreras, do you guys still have it? Or no? Yeah, no oh, that one was also a limited edition, is it? Uh, that one is special edition. Special edition, yeah. Speaking of big watches from Tech, this is a good example. This is a standard production model of a Carrera with a chronograph function as well. Comes in a nice green dial but in 44mm and 15mm of thickness, this is way too big. I think this watch with the right size and proportions would make a nice watch. Uh, but at 8000 Singapore dollars, it is a bit too close to that of the Hasselite Moonwatch. So it's a bit of a hard sell, but that's just my opinion. Moving on to the watch that is seen on the latest Netflix movie, The Grey Man, on Ryan Gosling's character. This is a simple, classy, elegant Carrera. Comes in at 39mm and I love the simple look of it. Also the outside mini track is a nice touch. What's the movie about? Right? You, it's a movie, right? This one? Yeah, it's a movie. Oh, you watched it? You watched it yet? <laughs> oh, no. I, mean, I, I also. I also because, yeah. because, let's say, the, my colleague actually he watched it. And uh -huh. after that, I asked him. Then he said. At this size and at this price, you can't really go wrong with this watch. Just a simple, no nonsense, classy looking watch that you can wear to pretty much everywhere. 
so yeah maybe if you like the gray man that much you can consider getting this Moving on to dive watches, on the left we have the Aqua Racer with a monochromatic color scheme. The case is DLC coated to match the ceramic black bezel. And on the right we have the Aqua Racer with a blue dial and a blue rubber strap. I also wanted to try on some new divers that were released this year. But unfortunately they still didn't have it in stores yet so we have to wait a bit longer. This is the other tech watch that I can see myself wearing apart from the Carrera. I love the look of it and I think tech Hoyer dive watches look best with the rubber strap. And this one also has a quick adjust even though it's on a rubber strap. This watch truly shines when the lights are out but unfortunately we couldn't get a good loom shot of it. But the whole dial basically lights up. It's a light show. Even at 43mm, I think this watch wears well on my 6.5 inch wrist or 16cm in circumference. Um, last year when I tried it on, it was 4700 Now they have increased it to 5000 Singapore dollars. So, yeah. This is the same Aqua Racer 300 model. Only difference is that instead of a DLC coated case, you get a standard steel case. And instead of a full loom dial, you get the standard uh, dive loom with the hands and indices and the loom peep. This one comes in at 4,200 Singapore dollars, so you save about $800. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very striking color. With the strap, I think it looks nice. Yeah, I like it. It's a bit hard to get the color. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the dial also has a bit of uh, texture. Ooh, nice. 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 What size is it? 36. 36, yeah. You like which one better? This one. The color? Yeah. But on the bracelet or the... Bracelet. Not a bracelet. Strap. A bracelet. Yeah. I mean, these are strap. Uh, <laughs> the strap. Uh. The strap. 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 The yeah, but on 16, already sold. Sold now? Yeah. Nice. People uh, call or just walk in and buy uh, for this kind of pieces? Yeah, just try luck. Try luck? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. For tourists. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but sometimes for those limited edition at the country, they can't get it. And of course, you cannot visit a Tech Hoya boutique without trying on the iconic Monaco. It is a true staple of the brand. And recently they had a few new fun releases for the Monaco. They had a purple dial and also an all black Monaco. But they didn't have any of those in stock. So I had to settle with the black one that you saw earlier and also this golf version of the Monaco. A fun little fact about the Monaco is that it is the first squared chronograph. And it's definitely a cool watch. It wears well with the short lugs, but uh, too thick for me and probably not my kind of watch, but still very cool. Just the color, eh? Yes. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. 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 Thank you. The new catalog for Tag Hoyer Timepieces 2022. Um, I know a lot of different brands are not doing any more of this type of books for their timepieces. They are going towards the 
green movement, saving cost, saving the earth, that kind of thing. But honestly, it's such a different experience, you know, viewing something on a website compared to a hard copy book. You are that much more engaged whenever you are holding a book as compared to reading something on a website. You might never know you learn something fun or something new about a brand that you love or a model that you love from just slip, flipping through a catalog book. So I think that is fun and also collecting these books is also nice. My watch already. Nipple watch. Bro. Hello. Why is moving? A final reshot and look around the new boutique before we make our way out. If you guys watch the video all the way up to this point, I appreciate it very much. Um, keep watching as there are fireworks at the end of the video. And also from my last video, a, a lot of you guys one wanted me to visit brands like Vacheron and Breguet. And I will do just that as soon as my friend recovers from COVID. So stay tuned for that. And again, thank you very much. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys. Thank <laughs> you.